A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the oh. hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Yeah, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. Not what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Whoa. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. 
I didn't want to. I, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. Will die alone. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead, Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. This one is mine. Feeling bad, man. Batman? 
need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Uh, who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs. Said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Bane sent his men to hide the weapons. Leave Bane to me. Uh, give us a second, will you? Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me? We're nothing like her. To hell with Waller. This is our city, and we're not going to let her take it from us. <laughs> I'm lucky to have you on my side. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. The officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. Avesta's tough. A survivor. She'll pull through. Well, she's been through a lot. I just hope this doesn't break her. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her.
Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Hal. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. We... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good. Thanks, Al. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen, all witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Well, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. 
all by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Billy, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. It, okay. It feels. Uh, no, really? He's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of. Sh oh. <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh... Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever <laughs> happens to Bruce Wayne. And besides the whole dead parents thing. Bruce! Uh, uh don't mind Willie. Just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. So... That rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. 
Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but... Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I wouldn't have blamed you. Riddler deserved everything he got. Why, Bruce? Seems like you hated him even more than I did. Maybe you pulled the trigger. Wouldn't that be a guess? <laughs> Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <sighs> pinky swear. Friends for life! <laughs> All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. Are you calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. Then it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. This cash could buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you put it that way... Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You. Uh, Br Bruce, um, uh, one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. I think I'm in love. It, it's, it's an odd feeling. I am so happy, John. Deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but... Uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Damn it! Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm 
pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. No, look, you're doing it wrong. Red's the battery, yellow's the starter, spark one on the other. You are literally my hero, Bruce. I mean, wow. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you, too? No. Those are fun. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Eh, don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. Stop! What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how he used you, Pud. Just to get to me. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. I get it, Bruce. You used me. Because that's the kind of ruthless guy you are. Oh. 
Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? You don't have to worry. I promise. I'll take care of it. So glad to hear it. Maybe you are my kind of guy. Well, then, let's get moving. No time like the present. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that failing ski. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, is everything okay? Would you believe it? I left my wallet in my office. Oh, <laughs> I've been there, sir. You're all set, sir. Practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. You do know how. You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior. Give me a hard time. Oh, I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. Did anyone see you do that? Uh, fancy joint like this probably has cameras. Oh, they got my good side. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. Harley figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. You 
don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? Of course. Glad you could join me. Welcome to Wine Enterprises. <laughs> Thanks, sugar. All this is yours, huh? Kind of blue. Our place has way more personality. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens. The power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You think I could run a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. If you keep your head down, work really hard? Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. You gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, puts. All that slushy you drink has got you. I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Uh, friends from upstate. They don't get to Gotham often. Yeah, you know, we just couldn't miss getting a look inside this place. Oh? You should have told me you were coming in. I'd have had facilities set up a tour. Why don't you show us around? All we really want to see is the crater. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. I'm sorry, Harley. It won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll... We'll talk about this later, Bruce. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? This is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moments. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Squeeze. 
You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Hmm. Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol Vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! It's not going anywhere unless I reconstruct Lucius's print. dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. Sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. All right, that's a start. Getting there. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. a bunch of old reports. Need to remember to clean out some of this junk. Not a single usable print. Piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that?
Even now, still finding ways to help me. Stay there. Don't touch anything. I touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key. Looking for this. Tiffany. You never put my father in harm's way, huh? You've got a secret room full of weapons. And those maniacs you brought here. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. You're full of crap, Bruce Wayne. Every word out of your mouth has been a lie. An honest friend would have come clean at the funeral. But you just told me whatever you thought would shut me up. I lied to protect you, Tiffany. To, to keep you from situations like this. Sure you did, Bruce. You're a real Boy Scout. Whatever else my father did, he sure as hell didn't raise a fool. I'm not sticking around for you to give me up to your psycho friends. Tiffany, don't! Hey! I remember you from the church. Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. Not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. I kind of like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. You gonna tell me who she is to you? Or am I gonna have to find out the hard way? We grew up together. You could say... She's family. You know family of mine. Oof, gross. Your friend seems a little hot under the collar. <coughs> she certainly has your fire, Bruce. Or should I say, your spark. You people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab. I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar. But I don't think your old man's on my list. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? Came to us because you got bored of being a billionaire. Now you want to be part of the family, don't you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm with you. Birds of a feather and all that. Oh, gross, I'm tearing up. You can be a real heartbreaker when you turn on the charm. Let her go. Bruce will keep her quiet, one way or another. Now that he's part of the family. Ah, uh, Harley, look what I found. It was just sitting up in that vault. Oh, that's great, Pud. You get a cookie, too. Mm. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up, too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you alright? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming at Tiffany. I don't blame you for saying you were one of them. It made sense to placate them, even if it meant breaking Tiffany's heart. 
That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes... Your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry. He'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid she's going to be curious about your friends from upstate. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. Well, after what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. Fix it now, Alfred. Whatever you have to do, just... I don't have time to worry about it. Uh, yes, of course, I'll figure something out. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. But this whole adventure with John and Harley... Well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful, and good luck. Those things will kill you. Consider quitting. Ah, uh, you sound like my daughter. Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but... I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. Jim, live to fight another day. But for now, listen to her. Listening's the easy part. The hard part's tuning her out. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. I do know. This city has made me who I am. 
So I've heard. I just wish Gotham produced more Batmans and less Riddlers. Make my job a whole lot easier. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you? It's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. Putting a tail on me jeopardizes the mission. Call it off. You're right. I will. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. You need to involve Gordon. Don't tell me how to run my operation. His people know this city better than anyone. And they have their hands filled with other priorities right now. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. Whatever I have to do to put these scum away, I'm sure I'll get over it. That's the spirit. I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Welcome to our little hideaway, home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. John, a little help here? A real man would not need help. He would help himself. Look, it's not like that. He knows I'm his pal. Why wouldn't I help him? It's because we're pals. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. 
I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? <laughs> You need to uncover me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. We know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You showed me you were loyal back at your office. Did everything I asked, despite all the trouble I gave you. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say, I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. No apology necessary. All in good fun. Fun? You seemed pretty cut up about it at the time. I wouldn't blame you if you were mad, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. We all wear masks, Harley. You don't have to be a criminal for that. Even you? You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job. Tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And 
that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, that explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know, that's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I'll go talk to the others. See what I can do to change their minds. I've got faith in you, handsome. sensing from this group. about your wife. Answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. I know pain. What it's like to lose a loved one. I can't imagine anyone knowing anything like what I've experienced. But I do know of your family tragedy. Perhaps you may know what it's like. What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. Go talk to him. Good luck. What are they planning to do? I don't have time to sort through all this. Not with them watching me. Hey, 
everybody. It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office and making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to help, too. You didn't catch it? When it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. Well, then I owe you my life, John. It's what pals do. I know you'd do the same for me. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Prisca. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. You look thirsty. Please, come. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, killed their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know. Are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. The payback I want is with the Agency. They wronged me, and now I want to make it right. I'm sure you understand. Riddler studied this Waller woman, profiled her. She is arrogant, presumptuous, and she won't see what we have planned coming. If you want to get back at the Agency, we, at least, have that in common. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust, so hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Bane! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. There can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are, and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it. Very good, Wayne. Very good. 
Maybe you do have what it takes to join our pact. The package is moving! What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out? The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the pact. In. There may be more to Wayne than first appeared. He can be trusted. In. Bruce is strong and smart. Handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hide! Wayne, we are close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh huh. Not now. You no, are no. providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. Right. On the move with targets. Yeah. Track yeah. this signal. Get your people here. Now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. Now we do this. Happening. I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, they do it! What was what the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried. All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! on the perimeter. Keep... Yeah, yeah. Freeze! Open the door! Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. And I'll no sudden moves and no talk. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. <laughs> Back off! Or I'll shoot! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I will not turn my back on him. I'll leave this cleanup to you, but hurry. 
Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Back there, Brucey boy. You really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Iceman bummeth. If Bane survives, you'll make us all pay for abandoning him. Bane will survive, and he won't let this slip. Nice, probably having a ball. Cracking skulls. We did what we had to do. We retrieved the package, and Harley drove off to make sure we kept it. You tell him. You're all welcome. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. <laughs> Intrigued, Brucey? Wanna know what's inside? Go on. Open it. he stink when he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants. Getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. For the right price. 